Um, so with relationships, you said being a physical trainer, mm -hmm. when you're a physical trainer, do you find that a lot of your clients hit on you just being so close physically? Like you might be working on their body, touching their abs, trying to get them right. And they might be like, yo, touch my dick. <laughs> That has actually never happened to me. Okay. How does That's it work? How do they tell how do they ask you to touch their dick? <laughs> Nobody has ever asked me to. No. That's the thing. Oh, everyone so has been everyone then? has been very they've understood that boundary. Oh, okay, okay. They've, they've okay. understood how the boundary. This is a professional relationship. Oh. Make sure that you guys subscribe and you like this show because this show represents you and your people. Support well, your own you. people. All right. Yeah. Everybody right? Oh! Welcome back to the Blood Exchange. <laughs> she, she, blood Exchange, baby. We're here. Once uh. again, I'm your host, yes. Aim Gunner. Woo. To my left, I have tap 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 the one and only uh. Uh, Crump, uh. aka yeah. Crump Diddy, Woo. aka. Dexter, Damn. aka Vibes, Serial Killer. I thought we, we AKA that in. William I we did that. the all time yeah. We didn't dead it. It's still here. Uh, Clearly, I just wasn't that it. like a million bailout. That. Like wasn't AKA that? William H the all time great. How are you doing, my man? Yo, yo, yo. Hello, everybody there yo. in podcast world. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You just got off the yacht or something, man. I'm Looking in. spiffy today. Look at What's you. Woo. I'm After in. Thanksgiving, love right here. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Um, some light, some light. To my right, mm. I have the one, the only. Wow. Pablo, Thank aka you. Bleak, Woo! Uh, aka DJ <laughs> Wavy Seal, That's uh. me. aka I won't let no pussy pass me. I have to smash it because I'm that guy. Woo! Easy pass only. Get your ticket. Let's Easy get it. Pass only. <laughs> you gotta sign up for that. You gotta sign up. Because we're taking pictures. We're taking pictures with you on we're the way in and the way out. We're taking pictures. If you don't got your bills paid up, you're not current. It's gonna mm -mm. be crazy. I'm calling. And I'm in gunning your host, like I said before. Tap uh, dance legend. AKA Gregory Hines, the great dance legend. AKA Low Life. AKA Horsepower, Horsepower. <laughs> AKA The Real Gunner. <laughs> AKA The Real Gunner, of course. Uh, Let's get it. Guys. Woo! Yeah. How y'all doing? I feel say, great. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was... I mean, how was your weekend? How, do you have any plans for this weekend? For this weekend? I, do my have, bad. I actually do have some plans for this weekend. Talk to me. Go Talk on. to me, baby. Listen, I, listen, I'm a simple man. Mm. Some shoes come out this week. Simple what? Uh, simple you far man. from that, sir. You far from that, sir. Some shoes come but out we're not going to get into it. I'm very excited about it. What shoes? I don't want to talk about it because I don't. The want, Bodvins? I don't, want, I don't want to jinx it. From the J Bodvins? What that L looks like you rolled? What the fuck? Filter came out, so I just left it alone. I didn't want to put a new filter and reroll. <laughs> this it. Yo, man, this get to it, get to it. So what yeah, the... yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get some kicks. Just, 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 what the J Bobby? Hoping to get yo, those shits is fire. Oh, right Heat, color wave. Shout out, Balvin. Fashion, fashion guru. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down on them Balvins. Thumbs up, two thumbs, thumbs up. up on them Balvins. Hell yeah, Heat. Yeah. Wasn't the raffle this week or the the yeah, 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 I, got a, I got an email confirming yeah, that it took me I'm in the running. minutes to get an entry. I'm in the running for that. Bro, hopefully I get them. I confirm all of those raffles always confirm. Yeah, yeah. they just never hit back. <laughs> they just never after hit. the confirmation. Mm. It's st it stops there. I mean, it's a tough game. The you, raffle would game you keep? Would you keep changed. those J Balvin's or would you sell them? I'm not a reseller. I keep. Yeah, everything I'm not a hype beast. If I if I cop a kick, it's because I want to wear it. Yeah, I keep everything. Mm. I, I buy. keep them shifts. How about you? you uh, depends on the money. Them, right? Depends on how much money the kicks are worth. If the kicks are worth a good amount of money, I'm mm -hmm. definitely selling them. Okay. I mean, okay. But just off top, I they're not my swag, but I mean, if they were, they're if, pretty if colorful. They're, I mean, they're pretty colorful. Uh, one order of business before we get into uh, okay, before we get into the show. What would uh -huh. that be? Um, I we had a giveaway from last week. We didn't Ooh. talk about it. We didn't talk about it last week, but um, we have a giveaway now, guys. What's the criteria? No, no, for show them the, the whole bag. Show them the, the whole bag. Show them the whole bag, guy. So you know, this is what you can win by watching the Blunt Exchange. We have a very nice Hennessy bag. You can put your actual Hennessy in there or whatever you want to put in there. I don't Which, know what you. Yeah, put don't in buy there. no personal yeah. shit. You know, you could throw that Gotta in get there. The big and inside boy the Hennessy bag, it's a bag. Inside of a bag. Inside of a bag. We got this nice Hennessy knapsack, backpack kind show of thing. Straight, show it straight to that camera. Make sure the camera. That's is quality straight. stuff. I still Hennessy have it. It was still in the plastic. We, oh, nobody oh, wore yeah, it. Nobody wore it. Still in the plastic. It got the padding in the back. 
It's quality computer. shit. Quality shit. Now, so what's the criteria, guys? What's the you know criteria you to got, win this? You gotta fo- make sure you follow us on Instagram, Blunt Exchange. Follow us on Facebook, Blunt Exchange. Follow us on YouTube, Blunt, Blunt Exchange. Exchange. Follow us on Twitter, Blunt, Blunt Exchange. Exchange. You also gotta like and comment on this video. I think they should give us their Hennessy order. Oh, how, how do, do you Hennessy? Hennessy? How do you Hennessy? Tell me how do you Hennessy with the with the hashtag? Yes. How do you Hennessy? How uh-huh. do you Hennessy? How do you Hennessy hashtag? Tell me how you had uh, uh, what your Hennessy order is. Follow all of us. We will check. And you got to follow. Oh, yeah. Follow on. Crump Media Works. Follow Aim Gunner and follow Mr. B. And then follow the show. And then we will pick from those, uh, the people who actually did yeah. all the steps and follow the, the directions. We'll pick from there. We'll, we'll have our, we'll have our interns take care of that. We'll pick live on the show. All right. So we that's how you win the Hennessy back. Look at this. Giving things away. Right. Talking about we don't give back right. to the hood. Right. We give we back. We are the hood. Oh, huh, we haven't left yet. Huh? Catch me at the bodega. I never Cheese left sandwiches the hood. down for the weekend. I mean, locked up with thirty it's white boys. Crack weekend. outside. That's how we do it. Mm. Right. So oh, that's yo. that, right? You saw your man. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, I'll last. save that for social media yeah, yeah, talk. Yeah, with your man, <laughs> Funk Flex. Woo! Lipo time. Lipo time. We'll talk about it. Um, uh, Crump, did you do your homework this week? Yeah, I definitely got. Uh, oh, word no, of the man. day time. We're too off to say homework, with man. Mr. Crump. Word of the day. Word of the day. Word All of right. the day. Oh. Today's word of the day is malif- mellifluous. Mellifluous. Mellif- mellifluous. 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 Yeah, That's the pronunciation. Yeah, that's pronunciation. How you Can I heard pronunciation yeah, yeah, or yeah, pronunciation yeah, yeah. varies or varies. Yeah. yeah. It does. Mellif- mellifluous. 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 The words on the bottom of the screen. So, and I mean, mellifluous. I mean, it, we're so. going to teach him how to pronounce it. Too, of, course, right? of course, of course. Mellifluous. That's a good word. So, yeah. I, I don't know the definition of this, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Mellifluous. Sounds malicious. It so, yeah, sounds like there's some negative some connotation there. Mal- you know, that, that mal, that mal word. Mm, mel, so not mal. Mel. 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 M-E-L. Is that a mixture? M-E-L-L-I-F-L-U-O-U-S. Is, that like- M-E-L-L-I-F-L-U-O-U-S. is it somebody that can, uh, is, it, is it somebody or something that mixes well with a lot of other different things? No. 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 Okay. What is no. that? I just think it's, it sounds malif- it sounds malicious. Okay. Mellifluous. Okay. And what is it? What, 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 I, I think I just get it. So say it one more time. I'm sorry. Uh, can we get that in the sentence? Something that's uh, very... Okay. Yeah. Can I get a sentence, please? The voice was mellifluous and smooth. Ooh. Cool. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Um, hmm. And smooth. So it's obviously a synonym. So it's chanting. It was an, it's an adjective. Chant, it was an adjective. Okay. Adjective. So... Uh, uh, what, it was nice. Uh, yeah. Polish, nice, nice, uh, easy smoothie, to to, very uh, uh, soothing, comforting, soothing. comforting. Unfortunately, no. Oh, okay, it's the what's opposite. The, the definition for mellifluous is it's sweet or musical, pleasant to hear. Oh, so was, of a voice or words. Sweet all right, to the, all right, you got that. But I think I got that right. Guys. I think we got that right. Good job. Uh, that's oh, a great word oh, of the what day. What did you say? Yes. I said easy to listen to. The good. Yeah, nice, I mean that doesn't nice. mean it's sweet or musical. You just said that, that's well, exactly it is, what that doesn't say musical. No, great word of the you day. Didn't say guys. musical. Also, well, word of the day. That. You killed it. Thank you. That was fire. Good shit, Crump. Yeah, yeah. Mellifluous. I like that. Yeah, I like I'll take that. it. I'll take it. So I think Travis Scott's music is very mellifluous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was, Look at we this. did it, and we're learning. Too. Successful. Learning words. Nobody sounds. Butter the day. What am I smoking on? What are you smoking on? What are we smoking on? Wedding cake? Wedding cake? I'm yes. not smoking not wedding on wedding cake. cake. No, no, no. Me and my wedding cake, me. Yeah, this is... I'm still uh, celebrating all the cakes. Yeah, I love cakes. One of my favorite things. Y'all love eating cake? Yeah. <laughs> if the, you know, if it's the right kind of cake. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Tres leches cake. Um, mm. The magic of cake. Shout mm. out Gabs. Shout out Gabby's. Um, where the cakes happen. The bakery. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're just talking in the codes right now. Yep. No one knows what we're talking about. Nope. But our friends are at home, like, oh, yes. hell yeah. They all laughing. going crazy today. Pretty Pretty much. Much. They're on fire. This is all for them. Um, <laughs> all right, so we, we don't have an actual butter day. No sponsor for butter the day today. So we're just going to smoke. Sponsor. It. Oh, no, homie, oh, oh, we know. We, we got some edibles, though. We don't need sponsors, but we got, we got, a, we got, we got some edibles. We got some guest edibles from Liquid, Liquid Ganja. Ganja. So you're saying that we have a guest, and she's representing Liquid Ganja. I mean,. As you somebody, can see, yeah, liquid yeah, yeah, ganja. Yeah, yeah. We have somebody stopping through today, and they brought us some edibles. So, so thank you for the edibles, liquid ganja. Liquid, liquid ganja, ganja, thank you. Uh, uh, what is it? A hundred milligrams. Well, the uh, ones that I have, I, I heard were like, uh, yeah, hundred milligrams. Uh, y'all, y'all, try, y'all trying to eat them? Some, like, I like to keep right it. I like to keep it a hundred. Yeah, yeah, and then we also have some like what, like some uh, some syrup and some tinctures and stuff. Oh, uh, we got that fire, juice, juice. We got that juice, juice. That water, water. That water, water. Yeah. 
Make it All right, so um, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna partake because you know, Jersey, we can do this kind of shit. Hopefully, you guys can do that where you live. But if you can't, just do it anyway. Don't tell anybody. Just don't let me fall to the right because that's off camera. No. Dude, respect. You want to see? So uh, Bleak is willing to die on cam for us. That's how dedicated he is. How does it taste? How does the, the brownie taste? Mm hmm. It's good? Yeah, sir. Tastes like I'm bud? a brownie dude, so. Mm. Does it taste like butter? or does it taste like a brownie? Mm, it tastes like butt. Bleak seal of approval? Mm -hmm. Liquid ganja. What up? Send mm. us some more shit. We like show the show show um, cameraman mm. uh, when you get a chance. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll he got a nice bite. No, no. I want to see. No, he has it open. I want to see. Uh, see. No, no. Show it, show it to, this, to, to the camera. Mm. Look at that. Look at that nice little bite. See the crystals. The crystals? I'm lying. Okay. That shit just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo. Edible brownies now with glass. Bro. Like, uh, so, fellas, y'all uh, did y'all watch the Soul Train Awards this year? Oh, I mean, man. this weekend or this past week? My TV's on the fritz. I was watching a lot of other important stuff, but, but I'm very I looked in. Okay, so I looked in. You know, tell us some of the winners real quick, Bleak. Song of the year: Chris Brown, Young Thug, Go Crazy. That song was fire. That song was OD. I can concur with that. Okay, I don't even know who the nominees are, but that's not bad. Um, let me see, who got the album of the year here? Summer Walker, over it. Album of the year? Yeah, I heard it's a really I good love album. that album. It is. Playing Games is a great song. Mm -hmm. The Come Over song. I mean, Usher. Beyonce, really song Beyonce finally got video of the year. So Kanye don't got to lose it. Okay. For I mean, Brown Skin Girls. Okay. okay. I love Brown the Skin with Girls. Daughter, with her daughter on it. Yeah. Brown Skin Girls. Brown Skin Girls are awesome. That's mm -hmm. a very Shout very out to y'all. Um, R&B soul female artist, her. The male artist. The goat. Of course, Chris Brown. Her, the, the goat. goat. Her's the goat. And the best, the best award to me was this one. Rhythm and Bars Award. Meg the Stallion for that Savage. That, listen, Rhythm and Bars should have definitely been a category for a long time. I love ryth Rhythm and Bars songs. It's like some yeah. of my favorite songs I mean, ever made. Lil Baby should have won that. Lil Baby? You Lil think Baby Lil Baby was the best artist yeah. in 2020? Lil Baby was, Lil the, Baby best was rap, a good the best rapper of 2020. Not Drake? I mean, Drake could always be considered, but he didn't put out enough nah, material. He didn't put out, album, he didn't put out enough Lil material. Baby an album. Okay. He so you say Lil Baby was the artist of the year 2020? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we should do that like we did last year. We should wrap it up next week probably. You want to wrap up the year next week, guys? Let's do our awards like we did last year. Yeah, but we're a few weeks away from that. Yeah, we are we a few it's weeks. It's the beginning of the year. Is it next week, the second week of de December? Yeah. We should wrap it up by then. Okay. Wow. Okay. What do you think? That's cool. Nobody can drop. Week? Yeah, you can't drop nothing now that'll make the list anyway. Yeah. So, so next week we wrap up the fact, year. You're right. You're right. You do that. I didn't think. All right, about that's that. a bet. Um, moving on. So, so yeah. speaking of Meg The Stallion uh, and, <laughs> and her um, awards recently, yeah. did you hear that she has a diss song from her ex friend? Yeah. Or maybe are they still friends? Is this a, uh, nah, I think I think she said if yo if I had the gun you would have you somebody would have been murdered or something. I, I heard that was one of the lines in there. Like if you, if I had the gun, someone would have got a bodied. If I was the one with the gun, you would have heard about a murder. Said her back was turned, but that girl no one really heard her. Never been a jealous friend, and the people really know it. If you would have kept it solid, then I would have been told it. So so you like that? You like when girls shoot the guns off? No, I'm just saying. She I'm just saying I was giving you a line of what she said. I'm saying I'm saying that's the one that stuck in your mind. It resonated. So obviously you I was like, oh something about I was women, like, Woo! There's something about women and guns. This no, way. no, her when Shots it comes to rapping in a diss song to her friend that was like, Oh my gosh. So so uh, the, well, stop, don't try and generalize. Your shorty it. Comes don't try and generalize the room. it. You're in a hotel room, your shorty enters the room. Okay. And she's in some some sexy lingerie or negligee. Okay. Right? I like and I like where says, this is going. And she says, Hey crump, let's get it on, right? So yes. there two. She comes in the room, sexy, negligee, and she also has an AK-47. Which one turns you on more? Uh, the one without the AK-47. You don't think the gun turns you on? The heavy nah. machinery doesn't do the something? The gun would never turn me on. I got the big scoop. Why? Okay. Why would the gun turn okay. me on? It's not I, mean, on. I gun, don't have it. I'm not the one with the gun. That's a for a lot of people. Yeah. If you I'm look not the one with the gun, though. If you go on, if you go on whatever your site is that, that you go to to find your adult materials, uh, there's a whole like category of girls shooting guns off naked and stuff. That's a thing. I think that might be good to look at. Okay. I don't uh, necessarily Garner. need to be in the room with a girl letting off guns. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, it's people. not necessarily loaded. It turns you on, G? Huh? It turns them on. It turns you on. It is. What kind of gun? Uh, what? Guns. Guns. But what, what kind shorty of gun? Shorty with a shorty with a gun. AK-47. Yeah, AK-47. An AK-47? Yeah, I'm not Luga. really an AK-47 guy. Maybe like an AR, maybe. Oh, you're an AR oh, so, guy. So women with yeah. guns turn you on. Maybe a Draco. So women with guns turn you on. I mean, women just turn me on in general. So yes. There's, there's very little things they can do. I mean, or so have I'm not asking you. Added to them to turn me off. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah. So her, like, I don't like snakes, but a woman with a snake is still sexy because she's a woman. I mean, you see what I'm trying to say to you? I mean, but I'm sure you're mm. gonna tell her to keep the snake mm. on the other side of the room. I mean, mm. hey, if I have, if it's the choice of no woman or woman with a snake, 
Fuck woman it. with a snake. I mean, it. yeah, but that wasn't the that, that wasn't the the scenario you you posed to us. You said a woman, the same woman with a gun or without a gun. Yeah, Which one I turned you on? To see, I just wanted to see what, what turned you on more. Uh, yeah, I'm asking yeah, you yeah. now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I answered it. You said the one with the gun. I said what kind of gun? It's, no, I'm saying the one, kind of uh, the same woman without a no, gun or the gun you want. I don't give a fuck about what kind of gun it is. Some sort of automatic rifle probably would do. Do you want her to have a gun? Yes or no? I mean, maybe so she could protect us just in case. Oh, you need your woman to protect you. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Well. In the world we live in uh, nowadays. All right. I feel I believe in equality. You believe that women shouldn't have guns. All right. So uh, moving on to... What? what? Shit. Do, do, do you believe that women should have I, guns? Yo, yo. Sh- are, are, we, are we done talking about Megan and her friend? No, no. Keep going. Uh, I, thought you, I thought you... Especially because of today's episode, I definitely thought you were had more to say about it because you're wearing a Meg, Meg, Meg the Stallion t-shirt. This is not Meg the Stallion. <laughs> is that Meg? That's not Meg? This is Meg the Stallion, bro? I don't know. It looks like her. Does Meg the Stallion have a Leah tatter on her arm? Pay Does homage? She? Disrespecting baby girl. I want y'all to get at them in the comments. No, I'm not getting at... Look at them I'm not getting at Aaliyah. Girl. I'm not getting at Aaliyah. I'm this saying... clearly Aaliyah. I'm saying that looks like... This that looks clearly like, Aaliyah. That looks like Meg the Stallion. I thought okay. you, I, I, My bad. Wow. Yo, Meg the Stallion is like 5'10", 235 pounds. How does she look like Aaliyah? Jesus. She can't look like her in the face? 235 pounds. Huh? Yeah, Maybe not 235 yeah, pounds. Yeah, no she got the, to that. She got the Dwight Howard Lady, show. Ladies in the comments, you hear you hear 235 G? G? pounds. I didn't say it was unattractive. I have eyes. I'm just making an, an observation. Damn. She looks like she weighs 230 pounds. Wow. I'm, I'm, not, really hate, with, I'm not really good with weight. So, uh. what, 200? What, is maybe? she big? She's like 5'10". She's got to be like 180. Even right. that. That's I don't too much. women's weights. <laughs> yeah, for women, bro. 180. Yeah. That's not bad. Like, that number's not bad. Like I don't comment on women's <laughs> weights. I don't number. put her past like 160-something, yo. All right, so Meg like the Stallion. 170. So like who's a better rapper, Meg the Stallion or Meg the Stallion's friend? No. I was, think that for your friend to release a diss track, it's like one of two things pop into my mind. Talk to me. Pop into my mind immediately. One, you're a piece of shit ass <sighs> friend. Like, Which one? Meg the Stallion? Meg the Stallion. Or? Like, why is your best friend having to shit on you? Oh, like, no. Like, to eat or to, like, get that off. She has to go through a, to drop a song to get that shit off her chest. So y'all fell out. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Yes. And the second thing that comes to my mind is that I don't give a fuck about female rap beef. Okay. Do you like female rap, G? Yo, don't do that to me, bro. You obviously don't. You know, you know what, you know what bothers me about female rap, and this is gonna be a, wanna, this is gonna be bad. Do you want to take this out? We could, we could, if you don't want to talk about it, we, no, we can take, take that part out. But this is, this is, you know what really b- bothers me, and this is a hard take because I'm from Jersey, so this is gonna, this is a lot of people are gonna hate me for this shit. Go ahead, what but it just, it just bothers talk me. to the people. It's bo- G. It's been bothering me for a long time. What, what you bothers is? you, G? Whenever I ask like somebody who are the greatest female rappers of all time, right? One of the first names that always comes up is Lauren, Lauren Hill. Hill. Lauren Hill has like three rap songs. But she's still the beast. How the fuck is she one of the best female rappers of all time? She has three songs that are rap. I mean, she's those, R&B those, aren't, those aren't one of the those aren't three of the best rap songs. So those of all three time? songs are better than Mad Females' careers. I'm asking. And, yes, and I mean, females to, that to, made yes. albums. Yes. To females, I'm asking you. To yes. females, yeah. Yes, yeah. That, to me, that's, that's madness. It's not. That's like madness. Who would you just say? Listen who, to the music and it would answer. Who would you that say you're your top five? That's madness to me. Who's your top five female rappers? Top five female rappers? Yeah. I don't think I am the person that can give that. I mean, you don't have I one. Mean, I mean, to you. You no, don't have one, G. I don't know. Like, I don't think I listen to enough female rap to give a fair answer. But if it's just yeah. for me, it's probably something like some mixture of Foxy, Nicki. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. L- I love Lil Nikki. Kim. Uh, Lil Kim. Uh, Lil Missy? Kim. Missy. Missy, oh. definitely, definitely Missy. I don't like. I don't listen to that. No, but, but she, you gotta. You don't respect her ability. But you said it's and, my list. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 go ahead. It is your. No, it is your. Yeah, no, it is hundred percent your list. It's like Foxy, Nicki, Lil Kim. Yeah. Ooh, MC Dave's Light. Uh, I, I th- it's what I like. Eve. Charlie. I like Dejlo. Can I count Dejlo? Uh, if you like Dejlo, Dejlo, Dejlo she's okay. And so she's she's music. Doja Cat, City Girls. A mil? Yeah, I mean, I, you know what? I can't Ooh, do a mil, that's a, a good one. I'm sorry, I can't do this, guys. Honestly, I can't do it. I don't like three female rappers. I'm sorry. Okay. Wow. I'm sorry. It's been a lot They're of attractive, them. attractive, but I just can't do it. There's been a few. Um, just saying. You got five. Do you have a top five, or do we just scrap the top five female rappers? No, you, you can. I keep. mean, like like you said, I, it's not from ha- knowing, having the most extensive knowledge of female rap, but, you know, I'm going to go on with the... <sighs> mm. My fi- top five? No, no, no. My, my my top five or the top five? My top five female rappers or the top five female rappers? What do you ask? Your top yo, yo, five. Go, go with yours. All right. I'm going to go with mine is Foxy, Kim. Yeah. 
Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. um, Eve? No. No. Uh, wow. I fuck, with, I fuck with Cardi. Cardi B. Okay. Cardi! Cardi music. And, um, Doja Cat. It's his list. He just, he just said M MC Light. Grand, grandpa that. said MC Light. Um, uh, yeah. I, uh, you got one or you want to come back to it? Um, it's a tough one. It's no, a no. Yeah, yeah. It just came to my mind. It's yeah, like, I, don't I feel like uh, aside Lady from, you know, like come he said, Nikki, Kim. Um, Foxy? Foxy. Rhapsody? Let me see. I like Eve. I'm a big Eve fan. I'm a big Missy Elliott fan. Okay. Oh, Missy. I'll put Missy as five. Yeah, Missy. Left Eye? Mm, I fuck with no, no, no. I'm not. None of them. I fuck with Left Eye. Ooh. None of those Why girls. Why was it? Like vitriol for like Left oh. Eye right there. Left Eye is a goat. She's, pretty she's a legend. Never said she's not. Mm. I just said, you know, it's my list. So. Yeah, of course. Feel that. You're right. TLC, I, didn't, I don't really get The can't. shorty from the doing it, doing it, doing it well song? Doing it and doing it and <laughs> doing it well. Uh, she never saw what she really looked like though. Never. We never going to. Oh, wow. She sued. She sued her body. Did she, did she win anything? She won. I think she. I believe Roxanne. she won. That's before our time. Yeah. Roxanne Chante, like shout out oh, honorable mention to all these people. Who are these old people yeah. giving up these honorable, old honorable mention to all these people? And of people, course, but. and then I think I ended with Cardi. Those will be my five. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I feel like female rap. Trina. Now. Trina. Oh yeah, look at that. We're disrespectful. Trina. Right? Trina. Don't this fucking Trina. disrespect Trina. We'll ask that question again. Beyonce? Beyonce's not a top five rapper of all time? Oh, she's Trina. getting ri bars written by Hov. The Brat? Ooh, I love The Brat. Ooh, Ooh. nope. Didn't The Brat have like <laughs> said nope. Though? Nope. It's just like I a little... I, I, I don't know. Nah, Angie she's, Martinez. She's outside. Uh, the Brat, Angie Martinez, same club. Nope. Don't disrespect The Brat like that. The I'm Brat, not disrespecting. You said my list. The Brat is a real artist. She is. Artist. I never Martinez said that. Angie Martinez is just cool with everybody. Uh, so right. what else happened during the weekend, guys? Shit. Well, yo, it was Thanksgiving yo. weekend. No, 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 no. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Talk about your it. Man. Your man, Nate Robinson. Oh, shit. Your man, Nate Robinson. Sabudio! Did you guys watch the fight? Yeah, I watched. Where the were fight. you? Where were you? I was in the crib watching. In the, the living when room. it happened. I was when that the... happened, where were you? I was in the crib. I was in the crib watching the fight. Your man was like, it's like he's never had any kind of boxing training. Yeah, sh he's yo, just like this. Yo, yo, he's like, please hit me in the yeah, face. Yeah, man, that was please fucked up. Please hit me in the face. If you've nah. been in a fight in real life, you know that like twenty seconds in a fight is a long ass fucking. Yes, yeah. very like, much. Like twenty seconds is a long fucking time. So imagine wearing gloves. And actually going about against somebody who trained for this, that's trying to knock your head off. Well, you, you know, were supposed gloves to train are, like, as well. Heavy. I mean, so, he like, was supposed to train as well. Nate know. Robinson's stupid. He's like 5'7", oh, 180 well, pounds. They not called him man. stupid. Yeah. Let's just say he reached, he like reached like too high. For the record, Nate Robinson, for the record, for the record, Nate, for the record, Nate Robinson made $600,000 for that fight. Just for the record. Just for the record. I'm right, just what saying. About your, what about your freaking... Uh... If I was going to get knocked out on cam, I would hope to make at least $600,000. Yeah, I, I could do a lot worse than that, yeah, yeah. I think. I feel like... I know niggas that got knocked out on the cam and still owe niggas money. You dig? Damn. So they might get knocked out on cam again. Damn. <laughs> mm -mm. $600,000 to get your ass knocked out on cam? You do it? Not like that. I'm a train. $600,000 get your I'm ass knocked train. out on cam? I'm a train. Chill, I'm a train. What if I'm I told you you're going to get your ass knocked out? No, you're not. You got to yes. train. No, I'm that telling you. Yeah. No, I'm telling yes. you. Yes, yes. I'm We're going to give you $600,000, but he's going to knock you the fuck out. Bro, this is the exhibition. I'm telling you, you're going to get knocked out. Okay. You're going to take Are you going to do it for $600,000? I'm going to be that dude that's going to say yes, but I'm, when I get in the ring, I'm not getting, I'm not trying my best not to get knocked out. No, no, I've, no. And then, you know, and then the mafia comes get you. And then you go there and you're supposed to get knocked out. And it's like Javante Davis. Yeah. Didn't oh. Javante Davis almost beat up that rat nigga the other day? Yeah, it was in the club. Yeah, fuck that rat nigga. I mean, I think the other thing that dude was trying to like provoke him to to trying to create a social media moment, but he was like, yeah, I'm not down to fall for it. I'm not down Javante for it. Javante Davis, man, I didn't like how you yoked up your bitch, but you can yoke, yoke up that bitch, though. He's a fucking bitch. Yoke him up. Um, we won the fight. Tyson. Oh, yeah, who won the Tyson? Who won the actual... Well, who won the Jake Paul versus Nate <laughs> Yo, first of all, who won, Jake Paul bro, or the memes? First or of Twitter? all, who won? Apollo Twitter Creed. Or Jake Apollo or Jake Creed Paul? died in an exhibition fight. So I mean, so, men, so start taking exhibition fight seriously. <laughs> Take this as a lesson. Take these die. shits fucking seriously. All right, especially, especially if you're gonna be on some shit called Thriller, a new app, new shit where everybody's gonna watch. Thriller is not thriller. a new thriller. app. I've been doing Thriller videos since like 2000. Well, you know what I mean. They haven't been doing this kind of broadcasting. Like, it's a long time. But this kind of broadcasting, they haven't done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is this is, I mean. this is a nice event. They put a nice event. Together. Exactly. This is what I mean. But if and you Nate do, Rob, and Nate Robinson had to go and shit the bed. Yeah. 
You didn't even train he's a better all trainer. the NBA players. You let that boy, I don't want to say that white trainer. boy, but you let that boy knock you out on cam like he that. He needs a better trainer. I mean, <laughs> get your ass popped on cam. That like was that, ridiculous. Really? Oh my God! He's a YouTuber. He's not a YouTuber no more. He's a prof- he wants to be a professional fighter, so he be taking this shit man. He took it seriously. You can tell. Like he might, ra- he, he might do the, the YouTube stuff on. He was like, "Yo, jokes. stop playing with me." Then he knock him out and yo, stop playing. Uh, with me. Yeah, I think uh, Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. people put that whole shit together. Yeah, yeah. They put the whole uh, all the other undercards together. I'm not sure, but that's what I that's what I thought. I thought it was Tyson's. So what y'all think about Tyson? Tyson, Tyson was ready. Jones. Tyson was ready for another three more rounds. You want me keep it real with you? What? I think all y'all niggas be gassed off Mike Tyson, like O D. Right. Mike Tyson is a legend, of course. He's been he's done some legendary shit, but yo, he's been washed for a long time, my nigga. Let's, like he's been washed for a long time. Them niggas looked washed. It didn't look like it didn't look like a clean. Nice Roy Jones looked washed. What are you trying? So what are you trying? Ultimately, Roy saying? Jones looked washed. Ultimately, saying Mike Tyson did it not was, look it was washed. A fun thing to watch during the pandemic. It was just too old. If it was the pandemic, fighting, I would never watch that bullshit. Stop lying. I mean, yeah, Iris, I, yeah, they're, they're, they're both saying? mad old, but yeah, like, and that fight was, was whack. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that was a whack enough, but I knew exhibition. I mean, because they were both sixty years old. Exhibition. You want to watch two 60-year-old niggas fight? Exhibition. It's cool on World Star when they're hitting each other with canes and shit, but Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr., that was not it, my nigga. I was doing some That was shit. pretty fire. I was reading. Roy Jones got to train a little more so he can stop hugging so much. Yo, man, you, you niggas just love Mike Tyson so much, you cape for him so hard. Roy Jones Jr. whooped his ass. If they were Roy really Jones judging Jr. that fight, shit. Roy Jones Jr. won that fight. No, he didn't. What? Easy. Easy. It's the Mike Tyson hype. The Mike Tyson hype. No. It is. Y'all niggas, you watching, with the man, y'all niggas were watching videos of Mike Tyson did like, see, oh my God, look at Mike Tyson. He's going to knock, he's going to kill him. Look at this old ass nigga, man. You, 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 uh, said, you, you, you yourself yeah. said it was supposed to be no yeah. headshots and no, none yeah. of that. So yeah, so it I mean, corny Ro- Roy Jones ain't do nothing. That shit was trash. Roy Jones kept running. Kept running and hugging. I think my first. I think running my, and hugging. I think my main sentence. Run and hug. I think how I started. Remember that for the next exhibition fight. Run and hug. Yo, the, the way I started that whole shit was, <laughs> that shit was trash. Yo, remember that fight we saw? Yeah, I was about on, to say. I was about to say. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. Yeah, we saw niggas. I seen niggas fighting, like street was fight. It, was it bare hands? No, no, no. They had no, gloves, no, on. They they had gloves on. on. But they, they were at the on. local park. They're fighting for a PlayStation Five. Yes. Go ahead. And that fight was way more entertaining. Chayla than Tyson yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight. Anybody could. Anybody who was there at the park could have pulled up and fought for a PlayStation mm. Five. And this big husky white dude won. Yeah, he, he was. Molly Wap. He was breaking niggas' nose. I know. Listen. When you out there in the park, half the niggas don't got no insurance. So once you get that one clean punch in, it's over. Once they feel that tooth loosen up, all right, all right it's over. You won. Over. You got I'm it, Brody. Here. You got it. So if you're in the streets in the, uh, in the park and you want a PlayStation 5, just make sure your hands is right. Your hands are sharp because you never know. Dig. And if you see somebody walking through the park with a PlayStation 5, you can still use your hands either way. And then you get a free Give him a high five for buying a PlayStation 5. Either way, you get a free PlayStation 5. Use those hands properly. Any anything well, about up. fights, guys? Oh, Have you guys been in somebody. any fights? Elbow up, elbow up. Have you guys been in any fights? Any fight stories from you from the past? Wow, no, yeah. not, not in a couple any cool years. fight stories. Yeah, this this is, I used to live in California, and this is dude who used to just ride his bike coming down the block, and he used to he used just to take people's chains. He used to take people's chains, and then one day I was like, "Why do you take people's chains?" He's like, "Yo, man, leave me alone," and then I just fucked him up and, and took his and chain. And then your friend Smokey like oh, looked shit. over him and said, you "What got the fuck?" Him yeah, out. I think I, I think I seen that one. I mean, that was the last fight I've been in. Okay. You want to know about the last fight I've been in? What was the last fight you've been in? What was Tell us. Horsepower. Um, So then I found out, like, my brother was super evil. Uh And he was trying to take over my whole uh, uh, kingdom. Uh Uh-huh. So we fought on top of a rock in front of, like, my whole kingdom. Uh Uh-huh. And then I fell over. Niggas is talking about um, video games. I got stuck on the ground. And then... Niggas talking about video games. And they trampled me. A whole bunch of antelope trampled me. Oh! That was the last fight I've been in. That was the last (laughs) fight. Yeah. Yo, man. Was this Fortnite? Mufasa, yo. <laughs> Mufasa, who's that? Oh, oh, I mean, yo. That who's was crazy. Mufasa? That was crazy. Mufasa? That was crazy. Bleak, any fight? Any fight stories? Was, were you talking about Fortnite? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh. Uh, what? I don't play, I don't play video games. Damn. Oh, yeah, we don't play video games. Yeah. yeah we're not a, supposed to play video games. We're not supposed saw, to play video I saw games. a female podcast the other day. And the three female hosts of the podcast were shitting on uh, men who enjoy playing video games. Not professional gaming guys. Just like if you're a guy and you might casual like to play a little bit of 2K or whatever it is. They ultimately said that 
it, they said that none of the top 10 dicks they've ever had yeah. played video games. Lies. First of all, so, a bitch so that can lies. automatically rate her top 10 dicks is not lies. the type of bitch that I would have yeah. talked to. So, to be honest with you, not if I think of the top 10 best dicks I've ever had, they didn't play video games. So I'm convinced video games are for mediocre dicks. I think one of the top 10 pussies I ever had was really good at video games. So I can't relate. I, I've never had, I, I'm not on the dick, I don't fuck with the dick team. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. But uh, I used weird. to play video games at some point in time in my life, and I think my dick is pretty A1. Yeah, I've played video games all my life, and you can just go go back and ask. Yeah. Ask one of the, the ticket uh, recipients. Yes. Grab your ticket. Grab, Grab your ticket. Grab the tickets. Whoever got them tickets. Easy pass now. Now Listen. it's easy pass. Remember that. Todo eso bulto, what they said, what they were talking about, that whole league top 10 dicks ain't playing no video games. That means those niggas a girl? are better liars, but they're playing video games on the low. A girl that can rate her top 10 That's dicks that is a spooky bitch. That's spooky shit, my nigga. Yo, oh. Can I get the bottle? You're a number 15 dick. Like, what? You're a top no, no, 30 open. dick. Open. Like, what? Oh. Top 30 dick Bitch how many dicks Have you had Like Damn top like, how 30 you, know the you gotta work yourself up bro memory. Like, uh, uh, no. You gotta work yourself Back up there <laughs> This is the third best Light skin dick I've had Um You gotta uh, work Any yourself. other video game we should, we should ask that question too again. Listen yeah, man yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest like with you one. This whole video game situation When, when it comes to women And how they It's they, like women they refer Can have to hobbies it, But we're not so allowed negative. To have hobbies That's what it is Like yo yeah. so We don't We don't fucking start um, having tantrums every time you want to spend a two hours and a half putting on fucking makeup. So why the fuck are you so bothered about you us? A hobby though. Makeup. I mean, they they spend hours on that shit don't you daily. Spend, don't they can spend hours like nah, you know, it's, putting it's, shit it's, together. It's crazy. Bro, how many times have you been late because a woman has to put on makeup? That's true. Exactly. So why girl, are you so mad at us playing video games? I used to have a girlfriend that used well, to have to, to get dressed to, to go to the to the supermarket. Hours. So like we had to go to the supermarket. I had to tell her like within an hour and a half to two hours in advance so she could put it all on so we could go get eggs. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to play video games. You go put on your Thanks, makeup. Nigga. I'll, put on, yeah, I'll were, play my video were, games. They were complaining about that. Like, yo, in this, in this climate in the country, you're over That's here right. trying to pay $600 for a system. Shorty, yo. How much is a, how much how much is a Kylie dress? kit? How much is a bag? How much is that whack ass the Grinch and Kylie they, kit? They were shitting, they were shitting on, on, on they were shitting on for the guys who have girls. They were like, yo, can you get me this PlayStation 5? Because, you know, that's what I want. Yeah, but, yes. the, but then the nigga's supposed to buy her whatever she wants. Whatever. Right? Yeah. Birkin, shit, Birkin, right. Birkin. She's unbalanced, my nigga. Unbalanced. Birkin. Birkin. Bitch. Birkin. Yeah, that's why you don't buy no shorty, no Birkin, man. Fuck out of here. Unless you got it like that, then you can just do it. If you got it like that, you could just <laughs> bypass a lot of steps. Money yeah, helps. This is a, okay. There you go. This is what money's good for. Uh oh. You just skip steps. Ooh. It doesn't Cut really. Corners. Yeah, you're cutting corners. That's all it really is. You're so just, as long as you have the money, shit. you can keep it up. You just avoid it. Yeah. Avoid but it doesn't really. It doesn't really get you the real connection. It doesn't get you none of that. But it skips the steps because they'll stay around with the money. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask that question too. That's another one, because yeah. it's like um, uh, OG once told me, as long as you have good bread, man, they'll allow you to do whatever you want. Yo, man, and getting top while playing video games, it's the best on both ends. So, women, if you're not playing video games and... No, so good. It has, it has, it has your favorite. Oh, it's fun, though? Oh, it does? It has, yeah. Oh, that's oh. a good call. Oh, yeah, yeah good. Oh, wow. Hmm. But, uh, <laughs> yes, that's Grabber. Yeah. Bleak with the Grabber. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, I but, appreciate um, that. Damn, what was I saying? You yeah, man, getting, getting top. Yeah, yeah, getting top while playing video games is amazing on both parties. So, women, also try it out. Even if you go to, gotta go buy the N64, the one you collect to the, you know, it's like thirty dollars. Try it out and then tell your man so. You know what I mean? Not me. Play the banjo. No, why you play the banjo? What play was the banjo? oral presentation? Yeah. Give you an oral, oral presentation. presentation. Why you play why? Mario? Consent okay. boys. Consensual, of course. You ask for all of this. I'm telling you, try it out. Consent boys. In Get the, the table playing Mario. Try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I've gotten the top before. I usually just mute my mic and then. Yeah. Get the exactly. Top. There you go. I've given the top while playing the video games to my shorty. See what I'm saying? Both parties can win. You dig? They hang in relajo. I, I don't the think I, I think I lost, shit. but it was it was fun. Fun. Right. Oh. But before we get completely into the complete nonsensical shit that we talk about every episode, um, we have some something serious to talk about. Friend of the show. Uh, uh, part of the show, actually, uh, Brian yes. Johnson just came out with a book. No peace. No justice, so no peace. Look at us. Look at us. We're accomplished. We have people, we have people with books. 
authors. Are you an author? Because you, does that count as an author? I, I think mean, so. Are there words yeah. there? Yeah. They're, yes, okay, sir. Yeah, you're once, you, author. once you're published, you're, you're a published he's author. A fucking author. Published the author. Of this yes. Book is no justice, no peace. Twenty twenty. The movement in black and white. And uh, with the power of television, when we come back, we will have Brian Johnson. We discuss his book right here on the fucking blood exchange. Through the power of television, we are fucking back. Oh, you know what? Let's be classy right now. Oh, Uh, because we have. Oh, piggies up! Piggies up! Piggies up, fellas! Even though, um, you know, he's here all the time because he works on the fucking show. (laughs) Yes. Brian Johnson, thanks for coming to the Blunt Exchange. Thanks, I appreciate Brian. it. I appreciate being here. What's up, guys? Show What's going the on? Good looking. Oh, we here Good for looking. this. We here oh, for this. Oh, oh, why? This little thing right here. Hold up, high, hold up, high, hold up. High. This I, right here, this special thing right here, yeah, we man, here for that. that book, man. Hold yeah, that up, man. Baby. Don't, don't, yeah. This book is a, a culmination of a lot of things, yo. Just what? Like, First of all, mm-hmm. Brian Johnson. Yeah. Who is Brian Johnson? <laughs> Huh? Who, who is, is that? Who is Brian? According Johnson? to which Brian. person you want to talk to today? That's all. I, I want to talk to. Oh, wow. the, I want to talk to the <laughs> author of the book No yeah. Justice, No Peace. Who are you, Brian Johnson? I know who you are. They don't. <laughs> who I? Uh... Introduce yourself to our vast uh, crowd, <laughs> our give, audience. Give them your Instagram them handle too. Give them a the quick Instagram minute. handle is very simple. It's just Mr. Brian Johnson. It's a very simple handle because you know I'm a very simple person. I guess you could say I'm just a photographer, man. I love what I do. Okay. Um, and I love these three now. guys right here that I'm on the show with right now. Like these three guys, you know. Let me just say this right now: these three guys, although we've had our ups and downs, these three guys have definitely shown me a way of uh, learning how to let to trust other people and let them get out their creative ideas. Okay. This thing you see right here is their baby, you know. And um, when we started this. I was definitely trying to bring down the hammer all the time because I thought I knew everything because I had my own podcast at the time. But I didn't know everything. I didn't know how three people would work together. I didn't know how to bring that together. But luckily for me, these guys learned how to pull back their egos and did their thing together. So, And nah, they made me look no good in the process. Back, so I appreciate these What's assholes. My ego, my ego got the gun check. <laughs> my ego got the but let's, talk, let's get into the book. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, brother. No, but let's get into the book, though. <laughs> what is this uh, No Justice, No Peace book? What is, about, what is this about? This book is about... So everyone knows what happened with George Floyd. We, yes. were, all, we were all locked down. We saw what happened with Very George tragic, Floyd. Very tragic, tragic. But most of us here can remember what happened with Rodney King. And we remember how long we've been... There was a point that we've been dealing with police brutality. We would just say, oh, another one? Yeah. Another one? This is yeah, just right, happening? Right, Definitely. We you know what I mean? We counted that. But we... In our, in our neighborhoods and where I'm from... We didn't fucking stand up and do shit around that time, but we did do something for Philip Pinnell and when he got murdered. Oh, yeah. And Philip I was a, Pinnell, that's uh, a uh, uh, a very touchy uh, story from mm-hmm. T-neck. T-neck. A young man was murdered uh, right in the park. Right in the park, um, climb, trying to climb the fence. Trying to climb the fence by a police officer, and it yep. was a very big uh, big deal in T-neck and Bergen County. It was like a, almost riots, like they protested. Facts, right? facts. So, tore um, down the town. They tore the town down, and that's like one of the the blemishes on. The small town of Teaneck yeah. in uh, Bergen County, New Word. Jersey. And so, we yeah. we didn't we didn't go hard for years. We had a there was a lot of things that happened, and um, okay. but George Floyd woke us up from here from here to Boston Road in the Bronx. We woke up, and we had to we had to stand up and do something. So we started protesting, and I was out there. But I figured that no one <laughs> the news coverage is not going to cover my hood where I come from. You know mm. what I mean? They're not going to be there. But it took. I knew I had to be there to take the photos to show that this happened right where I, I live, where I come from. Like, we were out there, too. Mm. It wasn't just happening in L.A. It wasn't just happening in D.C. It wasn't just happening... It touched us. Was, yeah. This was here, too. Right, so, right where we, so right where we live you're, from. You're, you're saying that you're, you, you would say... Would you say that mm. your inspiration for making this book was actually just being a part of these protests... And then saying, listen, maybe I need to put this together in a, some sort of a collection, a compilation yeah. to give back to maybe the future generations or or the kids now when they grew up. Look, look what we did. Look what we went through. Exactly. And maybe even tie into some of the older generations, you know, to keep the legacy going. We, the, the fight's still going. Even though it's, it's, it's a shame that the fight's still going. <laughs> but not to get too heavy, not to do crazy. The photos are for the people or for, for people like, um, like us who come from where we come from where the news coverage isn't going to come to. No, I looked through the book and you know some I mean? great shots you got in there, man. And, uh, I think we should, we should run a reel yeah. and take a look at some of these shots and then through your reel, is there any in particular that you... There's, 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 uh, there's people in Englewood like um, 
Ainsworth, my man Ainsworth. Um, you'll see him. He'll be in some of it. You'll see people like my man um, Vic. They're from, they're from Cresco. And then you'll see some people who like Philip Pinnell's sister, Natasha Pinnell. Mm -hmm. And she was in the book. And she's done a, a lot of things. And, mm -hmm. you know, for the fact of the matter is, it's just uh, this book was a combination of all the stuff that all the photos that we that I took and all the people that were there. And shout out to a few other people that helped me out with the book, man. Shout out to my man Sam. Shout out to my man Julian. They know who they are. Shout mm -hmm. out to my man Lef. He definitely helped out. Yeah, something like this would probably take a lot. Is this your first book? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So Congratulations, man. Yeah, man. First book. And more to come? Published. Awesome. There's going to be more. There's a lot more coming. Um, how was this? How some was of the you process? guys, you guys are gonna be, you guys are gonna see some stuff because you might be in some of the stuff. Okay, fire, fire. Yeah, <laughs> like I haven't told get, you guys we that. Get royalties? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I, don't I, I, don't, I don't know quick. if I signed <laughs> off on my. <laughs> I just saw the Dave Chappelle I, thing. Yo. Yeah, I don't I'm know if I signed off on my on my person yeah. or my image being used. In Welcome to America. Universe and whatever the hell. Welcome yeah, to America. Get your Vaseline and enjoy the ride. Now continue. Shit. This is a blunt shit. I'm not giving you a dime, but I'm going to take care of you. Now, continue. Go ahead. No, no. Fuck it. Just keep the fridge full. Definitely not to take care of the black people. Yeah, man. Just keep the fridge full for me. Of course you do. Yeah. Take great pictures of them. Sure do. So, more books to come? There'll be more books to come for sure. Good, and good, you know, sure. I know that you know. I know that you're a photographer. Yeah. Uh, anything on that uh, horizon coming up? Any? Well, hold on, real quick before we're done with the book. Where can people find the book? We can find it definitely. You can find it today on Amazon. Ooh. On Amazon, it's on Amazon. Anyone can pick it up right now. It is fourteen ninety nine. That's, so, that's a great that's, price. That's yeah. a great price. It's, yes. it's, 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 it's some stocking great, stuff. Great for yes. the holidays. Huh? Right? It's, it's great for, to, like you said, it's great to buy now to have for your kids and yes. your grandkids. When yes. That's what I'm saying, Brian. You yes. wrote your name in history. I have a little Never bone to pick with you, Brian. I was at a couple of these protests with you. And you didn't, get and you didn't take. I didn't see myself in the Sorry. Oh wow, wow. Sorry, you might have been too Maybe tall. Pay, two. You, more might, you, might, you, might, you more. might be cut out. Yes, more things in the contract that we have to talk I have, about. I have a. I have a question for you guys. Talk to me. Do you guys remember that time? How did that time affect you on an individual? <coughs> Those moments in May. Uh, anybody else? Anybody they want were to go? very harsh. Those moments in May, because everyone's live. Everyone, you know, we lived through that. Everyone's lived through that. I mm -hmm. feel like no matter how, no matter no matter if you were the person who was being arrested, no matter if you were the person who videotaped it yeah. or you saw it on TV, you walked that walk. You know, you 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 have encountered these people before. You've encountered this energy. So you know how that feels. Fact. You never want anyone else to, to feel that way. Word. So that was de deeply. At least for me. Um, it's just a very, very unfortunate thing that, you know, we as black people, uh, we're, told, we're, we're told from kids that we have to walk the straight line when it comes to interactions with Those authority things. and stuff like that because we don't have the luxury that white people have in this country. So it's just unfortunate when, you know, you even even like Breonna Taylor, all that kind of stuff. Like mm -hmm. you just you just see that we you you feel like you're doing what you you. I'm doing what my mom and dad told me. Mm -hmm. I'm walking the line. I'm being respectful. I'm all the stuff that you don't necessarily need to do, but it would only help out your interaction with the police. And then to see stuff still happen to people when they're just trying to live their lives are very very unfortunate. And extreme. The hardest part is that the accountability of it always seems like we're at the loss so Heavy. that's just double hard it's whack to see your people die but it's super whack when the people aren't held to the held accountable for the actions that they participate in so for me that's just my thoughts on it yeah the accountability always hurts <laughs> for me um it was like um many different <laughs> emotions i went through um many different emotions i went through okay. uh being becoming a father for the first time, having a son, and going through what I've went through in my own life, my own life, my own life experiences with police and authorities, and even even not even just police, like school systems and stuff like that, mm -hmm. how we are treated differently, and it's obvious, and then they try to gaslight you and tell you it's not obvious. So I, one of the the the, the emotions I felt the most was anger. I was angry. I was in those streets. I was in those protests. Facts. I was there. I was you saw all it. over the place. Yeah. He saw and, it for himself. I read that early. And I was doing it, and, I, and it might sound crazy, it might even sound weird a little bit, but I felt like I was doing it more for my son and the future. Like, I don't know exactly what I can do as one person, mm -hmm. but me being out here voicing my opinion 
being out here, being seen out here, being mm-hmm. with the people. Yeah. We're mad. We're angry. Like, this got to stop. I felt like I was doing something for the next generation. Look, yeah. we don't sit down and take this shit. You know what I mean? I think um, raising awareness. It's a beautiful thing. You got to take the next step, of course. To see that you guys, that everyone's kind of awake now. Yeah, Not woke, because woke we, is trash, but... Of course, we still got to take the next step of actually, mm-hmm. like, changing policies and yeah. legislation and, no and you know, laws no and mm. all that. All that stuff got to change. We actually got to make something happen, but, you know, you, you don't have to sit back and take it. Especially in this country, you're allowed to say whatever you want to say. Yes. Right. You're allowed to feel however you want to feel. And if this country's supposed to be a country for everybody and everybody's equal and everybody is supposed to be their own person then you got to hold them to that. So, you feel me? Whatever you got to do, you got to do what you got to do. I'm down with that. This book was amazing. Thank I you. I can't wait to see the next book. Thank you. Um, Brian Johnson, No Justice, No Peace 2020, The Movement in Black and White. Yes. I cannot wait to get another copy of this book. And, um, Show it to him one more time. With the hardcover. Give him, give him How do I get the... We got to do that. The hardcover, the hardcover, the hardcover. Hard hard when you get your tax return, the hardcover's coming. Okay. Because okay. I gotta make sure that one yes. thing's gotta pay. But I gotta pay for the hardcover. <laughs> the hardcover's gonna be a lot more money. Yeah, the hardcover costs bread. So yes. Yeah. Brian, thank you for coming, man. Listen, brother. Thank you guys. Ooh, I appreciate, appreciate you guys having me, man. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Want to give all your information? Show the book. Listen, just follow me on IG, Mr. Brian Johnson. It's there. Follow me. Check out the book. It's on Amazon. Make sure that you guys subscribe and you like this show because this show represents you and your people. Support well, your own you. people. All right? Thank you, Brian. Thank you, thank you, thank you Brian. Brian. Right. Y'all take care, man. Peace. Brian, I appreciate you for coming on the show. Get back to the camera work, please. Get behind the camera. Thank back you. to work, Brian. Back to work, all right? That's enough. All right? No right? more freaking you know um, screen time and I know, I know oh, you said man. what you said, but no, if no. my picture, you use my likeness and I don't get paid. Give us the money. Oh, man. That's going to be a problem. We don't... Five, ten anyway. years from now, we're going to have to have uh, a, Through the magic of television, we brought another Netflix guest. Show. We always like to have the female perspective on the Blunt Exchange. Today, we have a friend, an entrepreneur, a friend of the show. She was hanging out, so we decided, why not? Jump on camera. Christina. Hi, Christina. Hey! hey Christina. How you doing? What's welcome, up, welcome, welcome, welcome to the doing? show. How you doing? How you doing? It's just, it's just us and the Blunts. Christina, would you like to give them your handle... Uh, what you do and who you are and you know let them know who you are okay you can follow Talking me on to the Instagram mic. at underscore I am the legacy and you can find me on Snapchat at underscore legacy Boogie. oh Snapchat Ooh, is, that like the pre- that. Is, that a, is that premium like, oh no we, do we don't that? do premium oh no here. premium okay we don't do that no pre- I'm just saying I got like, a little more class we went to the people. Snapchat I didn't know I wasn't sure just saying Ain't nobody gonna be out here twerking like Megan Thee Stallion. Hey, I mean, I heard. I mean, listen, she just we won the artist of the year. We looked it up. She's one hundred and forty pounds. Know, you heard? Twerking. Artist of the year. You were about hundred pounds over. I mean, point. she's twer- rap, sorry, rapper of the year. Still using that term very loosely. Listen, I mean, don't don't she hate raps on with Megan the Thee Stallion. He got her she on his shirt. I'm on his shirt. That's Aaliyah. Yeah, stop yeah. disrespecting me. Aaliyah, respect. Stop disrespect. That's baby girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. How you gonna do that to me? Don't do that. But yeah, so we don't want that kind of beef. Yeah, fans. We don't want that. No, I know. That's I'm a different kidding. type. You're a stallion. We don't want that. Are you a stallion? Stallion. You're one of the stallions. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? If I'm a, I'm Are you a stallion? <laughs> like you know how like oh. Rihanna has the navy or the or the, uh, or the, the beehive. I like the stallions. Beehive, the I like are stallions. you a stallion? No, I like stallions. You know, uh, stallions are male. You know, stallions are male horses. Right. Eh? No, we're talking about Meg the stallion. Oh, and, and in, stallion here? No, no, and, and well, also we refer to women as stallions. I dated myself. Chill, but um, yeah. So you're an entrepreneur, right? Yes. Uh, what does that mean? So I'm coming out with a clothing line. I'm actually a certified personal trainer. Woo! Oh, shit, so you can help me get rid of my gut? I can do that. The hell yeah. Ooh. You might not like me after it, but I can do that. As long as you help me get rid of the gut and bring that. back the eight pack. You know, that daddy way. I that, heard that's a real thing for men. I didn't pack. know. I didn't know that was a real thing for men what, until the dad bought. No, the I got dad, the eight once pack. you finally start having kids, it happens yeah. to y'all. So Yeah, because you throw away at least a year and like two years, you throw away. It's a throwaway. It's not a throwaway. It's, it's not a throwaway. Some of the most that. enriching years of it's your a life. Throwaway. When you cut off, you don't have the time. The baby is hundred. That's not true. I have a friend so? of mine now. He goes okay. to the gym. Into the mic. Into the mic. Three times a week. Yeah. At least three times a week. And you can pull it all the way. You can move it. Yeah, you can do whatever you need. So that's not true. So what he was that hoops, again? He uh-huh. hoops at least three times a week. He'll even go at 5.30 in the morning He's the exception to work to the out. You see, but then you have to add that to that That's equation. not how people do it. But this insanity you can of waking still up at do 4 it, or 5 in the morning. You can still do it, though. You just have to find time. 
I think parents seem to lose themselves with their kids. Yes. And Isn't that's it? not fair to you guys. But I feel like that's normal because kids on, take up a lot of a time. I, I've heard this they before. Do, I've heard this before. What about you? You were somebody before your kid, weren't you? I heard this before. Lose mm. yourself to your kids. What the fuck does that mean? It's your kids. How are you losing yourself? You're giving yourself people, to your kids. You're absolutely so they can, right. But at the same time, you have to remember you're still not just mom and dad to somebody. You're you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, I see that. Self-care is yes. very important. Self-love very important. is the best love. It's very important, even for parents. And I feel that from the outside looking in, I'm a godparent. Okay. I focus more on my god kids or my nieces and nephews than anything else. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm wor- at work thinking, okay, well, whose birthday's coming up? What am I getting who and this, that, and the third? And then it's like when you finally around them, you just bone tired because you've been at work. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Damn, so when we will have sex? You can break that into this called sneaky links. <laughs> because you feel me? Like you just said kids work out. And at the end of the day, it's like 10 o'clock at night. You got Sneaky links. 10%. When, the kids sleep, when the kids are asleep, do what you got to do. You are 10%. Sneaky though, links. Reminds Sneaky me links. of that picture. What picture? The money picture that you sent me in the group chat earlier this week. But the money jar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's say one of the partners uh, has like a higher sex drive than the other. Okay. Right? Like like noticeably higher. Like okay. marketably higher. So how did y'all end up one. together in the first place? Would you be Ooh, in question? Fi- because you know, sometimes at the beginning, there's a, there's this like zest and this zeal at the beginning. You it's mean so lust? new, it's so fresh. Lust. Lust. It, there's like an, exci- an extra Lusty excitement at the beginning like of a that's relationship. That's what that was. Yep. So you know, when you first start, you know, you're doing it every day, all the time, uh, three, four, four times, three, a, four day. times Woo, a day. I can't stop. And then after a while, the reality sets in. You go back to your normal, you know, yeah, whatever it I'm is tired. that you do. I don't really like it that much. I'm I tired. Do it a couple times, you know, or I need it all the time still. So, would you be in favor of a uh, uh, a sex jar so every time the person who's not really you know who has the, has the sex drive like the other one mm. would receive a certain payment for every time a sexual favor was done and then they stack that up and that uses them they can use that for their Christmas gifts that sounds like prostitution and how is it prostitution if it's your partner that still sounds you're you're paying for the exchange though <laughs> like is it really paying or like you're paying is, are just you really, the same way I will buy a girl a bag Mm-hmm. Is that or prostitution too? Bottoms. So that's also prostitution. You're saying? Oh yeah, girls are just better at it. Y'all don't know how to, you know, get your shit off. So, mm. interesting. So then, just saying. Like, so then, so then, girls should be buying us playstations. Then. I feel like me personally, I was raised. Men and women are equal. Oh, okay. so so first of all, expect- you were raised wrong. <laughs> No, <laughs> well, if that's women are the case, better than men, come on, equal clearly. in the sense twenty twenty year the sense, of the women, twenty twenty year of the women, consent boys in the building. Go to X up. It, in the consent sense boys. that if she expects you to buy her a Louis bag or a mm-hmm. Birkin or some red bottoms, Birkin, Birkin, Birkin. and she can't reciprocate with something that you're only gonna ask for like one time in like five years. Thank you. That's not fair. She said she could suck dick from the back, like she could suck your dick from the back, from the back at it. <laughs> Wow. How? What is that worth? <laughs> what is it she worth to do, you? She could do the she could do the double the double twisty gawk gawk three thousand. First of all, first of all, listen here. Mm. Most women who use their hands entirely too much can't actually suck dick. No, 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 Whoa, no, 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 there no, you go. The the double, someone said it. No, hold on. But she could the do the double twisty it. gawk gawk though. She knows how to do the double twisty. Well, if she was doing what she was supposed to do, she could just do her throat and do that. There we go. So what is you talking about? Stop you got to do the double twisty in the throat. First of all, listen here. I plead the fifth. Y'all hear that, right? I okay. plead the Hold fifth. Hold on. There's that's a double okay. twisty in the throat? If you know what you're doing. They ain't tell hey, me man. about that. That's 2020 shit? 2020. 2020 shit. That's the corona just... top? <laughs> <laughs> that's that. You, are you still watching top? How are, how are, how, are you? <laughs> are you? <laughs> they can do that with the throat now? No, 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 no. What's that? Dr. Miami did that? How they do that? Ooh. Niggas is do nigga. Oh, man. Shorties, listen. I didn't know. Listen, for re- R&D. Okay. Research. If you can do the double twisty in the throat, contact the Blood Exchange at Blood Exchange Gmail. G just got for, you. Just scientific. It's not Sign about up. me. Because some boys are in the building. It's for scientific. We need to figure this He's out. He's doing research later. It's all for it's algorithms. All it's for the it's algorithms. We, gotta figure it we out. need this for the algorithms. So when it comes to a relationship, since we're just going to talk about <laughs> double hand. Tw- we didn't even introduce you right. We don't even know what you do. You said you're an entrepreneur. You do a physical training. You have a clothing certified. line coming out. Yeah. Yeah, what right. else? Certified. What else certified. do you do? Thank certified you. certified personal, personal trainer. What else do you do? I mean, I do a little bit of everything. I can cook. Ooh. You know everybody loves a woman shit? can cook. Because all girls do crystals now. They know how to do like magic or something. Man, 
That's how, a, how, 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 okay, that's when did, a lot of time when on When did girls hands. learn magic? Hmm. I don't know. Nah, Why? I was too busy they playing created ball. magic. What does a quartz stone do? What does a crystal do? Well, it's all about the energies and vibes. That's what it's... How do you yes, rejuvenate sir. a vagina? Let me solve. someone who needs... Let me solve. That's how you do like, it. Apparently, that appa- apparently your walls are gone. Don't you, you put a crystal like on the... You put a rose quartz on the vagina. I have no On idea. a full moon. That full moon and bullshit. Then, I can't. The only thing that happens on a full moon is everybody lose their mind. You get three jars of water with a rose quartz. And then you put sage around it's, the room. No, it's more of a cleanse. And drink. Yes, cleanse it's that. a cleanse. Please cleanse that. It's a cleanse. Okay. Let me sold. And then you get a nani ball. Get that green bottle. Heat. And then you just, a yani, and you just. Yeah, it's a cleanse. That's all it is. Too bad you can't do I it. Listen, didn't, I didn't know Whoa, women learn magic. But really? Now, how? Huh. It's so interesting to me. I'm water very intrigued soap. by the water magic. Water and soap. <laughs> water and soap. We got water this. Water and soap, really? Yeah, it's been working so for years. Why? So you can pH too? Because y'all have pHs too. Yeah, we f- water and soap. Okay, that's not actually not good for your pH, by the way. Damn. Just there saying. we go. We learn something every day. <laughs> so what's good? So that was good. So, so that was so okay. so good for us. Tell us. Oh Do, would you? Would you? Would you Yo. give us any pointers? Um, besides just overall hygiene, mm. you're eating. Ooh. Like when girls say, "Oh, he tastes salty because his diet is terrible." terrible. Okay. That means he's so eating straight chinos and junk food and all that. Like, nah, bro, eat some freaking fruit. Yeah. Wow, so that's not a myth. That's not a myth. Oh, it's shit. That's why just, I, just the way I, when you produce sperm, yeah. it's all about how much water you're intaking. The and color has a lot I've, to do with that. I've always a lot of different been a things. proponent of pineapple mm-hmm. juice. Drink the pineapple juice. They'll thank you for fruit. it later. Eat fruit. Actual fruit. Pineapple. pineapple juice works, I'm telling you. Mango. It works. They love it. Mango, mango, mango juice. I heard, allegedly. Mm-hmm. During the corona times. Right. Double-handed in the throat is crazy. OD. How would you help us maneuver through mm. the corona times Mm-mm-mm. Dating, mm-hmm. finding someone, finding that other person, finding a match for yourself during these tough times. Well, realistically, nine times out of ten, you've already met the person you're supposed to be with mm. or that you just overlooked. A lot of people put people in the friend zone and like that friend is probably your other half. Oh, OK. Mm. So when you think about it, the person that you normally would just hit up, be like, yo, you want to watch a movie or the other games on you trying to watch the game? Mm-hmm. If that other person's a female, so more than likely, hit, women don't hit you up. To so, watch you're the saying, game. so you're saying, so you're saying, I do. So you're saying, I hey. play college ball. I'll there sit we there go. And watch ball, football all day oh. long, and not have to leave my house. Respect. I'll be happy. Respect. Oh, so guys, I'm sorry. We I need a lot more of you. A normal woman on the show. This is yes. This is not a real far person. from normal. We need far women. This is not a real sports. person. I thought, all the time. Sorry. I'm not a real person. I'm a catfish. Apparently, I'm a catfish. This is not a real person. Nah, women don't like sports. Don't we need we need Lame more women, women to play sports. Don't like sports. This is this Lame is a women. That's a big like statement. This. Right? Like, you know, right. That's right. a big this statement. Is, this is a rare thing. So when you when you when you meet a woman like this, it's gonna be a little different. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a very joyous time because when men start hearing things Chris, like this, Christina, right? You, yes. you got them. Yeah, so Christina, you can call me like, legacy, Christina will buy you a PlayStation Five. I yes. ain't buying Christina, nobody a PlayStation Christina Five. Will, I got goals to meet, and oh, a PlayStation Five oh, is not part of the goal. Christina will buy, fellas. Christina will buy you a PlayStation Five. Yes. Christina will also watch football and basketball with you. Yes. That's a fact, and argue with you too. And know what's going yeah. on. And she'll That's make fact, you a smoothie. Especially since my older cousin did play for the Panthers. So, mm-hmm. with you being so in tune with your bro side, That's a fact. Thank you very okay. much for that. Um, do you find it harder or more difficult sometimes to navigate into relationships because sometimes dudes will just see you as the bro? Yes. Oh, damn. So how do you yes. get how do you get out of the this is very true. the bro zone. bro zone? So this is I'll tell you a little story. I've always been the bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. Always been, you know, that's so and so's little sister. Mm-hmm. The so sis. It's like growing up playing football with the boys yeah. and playing basketball, coming yeah. home, Chilling. shins all oh, scarred up. And it's like, what happened to you? So we was outside playing football. football. Once the transition went from be, being a kid to high school where, you know, puberty done smacked me in the damn face yeah. and I looked like a fake adult. Then I looked like this. It's are, you like, ta- are you talking about your large breasts? Very much so. I mean, they're only a 38 double D. <laughs> 2020. You see, you see how I said. Yeah, you see how I, uh, I mentioned her breast, but I was very respectful about it. It's all about respect. You can say what you want as long as you're boys. respectful. I could have said something disgusting, and I didn't. No, I said breasts. So, so you said uh, what, what? In high school, you uh, developed large tits. In high school, I was still the tomboy. Tingle bitties. But once I got to college at 16, it was more like 
I was. You went to game. college at sixteen. Wait, you yes, got to I college did. at sixteen. Fire, yep. fire, fire! Holy fire, shit! Fire, fire. So was there like a, some sort of we got clerical a mistake? Houser with us. Yo. <laughs> no, I actually graduated a whole year early. I just skipped nice. my senior year. Fuck that! Fire, fire flame. Did you they know you were black or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, graduated '09. Walked out them doors happy as can be, but the transition from being seen as the bro to well, damn, she looked. She she a little thick. Yeah. She looked how, different. How, how did you do that? Did you, was that was it the difference? No, I, I didn't was it do a it transition on purpose. from it the bro to the sis? Yeah. Was that the difference? With <laughs> no, like, but Wendy. Like, yeah. Oh, yo, she was the bro, Uh-oh. but yo, she's yeah. the sis now. How did you do that? Did you have to like <laughs> corner one man and then show him, look, I have a vagina. <laughs> And I then hourly, from then on, I it, was like, doubt uh, that. it was like a story. Of te- it was like a telephone, <laughs> yeah. like a story after that. And yeah. then from there, did there was no know? more problems. Yo, did, did you know, you know? That, does, that was not my... It's true. No. She does have a vagina. Did I? She wasn't wearing a cup. <laughs> did that do it? Was that it? No, it was literally my body changing. Okay. Mm. okay. It was just going from being a child to a teenager yeah. to being a young woman and the woman that's sitting here now. Nice. So okay. a lot of women, like the athletes, they get stuck. Like their bodies are stuck in that frame. Some of them, I mean, look at Brittany Griner. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's big bitch. Is it Brittany, Gr- is Brittany Gr- Oh, yeah, she has she to be is. a woman to play the WNBA. Okay. That's the whole, yeah. the fact that you had to question it is a no, problem. No, I thought she I mean, was trying to do the thing. Like Oh, the Joanna man? I thought she was trying to go. Oh, you thought she was trying to. She'd be nah, a dude. Bro, uh-uh. But I guess she has to wait because why fuck the money up? Why for now, money when you're the money's and you're over. you're married to a very beautiful woman. So, yeah, right. Don't fuck the money up and play your sport. Fuck right. out of here. And then when you retire, then baby. Mm, nah. Nah. Nah, you good. I noticed you have, um, you, your tongue is, yeah, that's. Multiple piercings. Yes. So, piercings. Um, show the camera. Okay. How many is that? That is four that you can see. 16? Oh, 16. She got a whole set. She got a whole verse. <laughs> she got a hidden verse. You, is it She's hard a ghost on planes? You know what? You're not the first person to ask me that. And no, surgical steel does not go off the metal detectors. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Oh. 16. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 16. You're really trying to figure this out. 16. Yes, he says. Yes, he says. Yes, he says. 16. Uno so says. A total of 20. Oh, Benji. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Son of the league right there. This hmm. is exactly when your artist doesn't tell you no. This hmm. is what happens. Hmm. Yeah. This is I what mean, happens. he's not going to. Have you ever had any, like, close calls of, like, ripping anything off? I'm sure. Um. So I had silent. my chest pierced here. All the ones right there? The, the, and the my body started to reject it. So uh. instead of waiting for it to get caught, I just took uh-huh. it out. Okay. Uh-huh. My snake what eyes. Is caught, what does caught, oh, caught mean? Caught, like, literally, the like, piercing like, yeah, caught it, oh, on something. Oh, okay, so, okay. Oh, caught on some clothes. Cl- okay, okay, okay. Or okay, the, okay. the loofahs in the shower. Okay. Oh, yeah, listen. Oh, okay. yo, that, you done? You can't use, you can't you use loofahs. Your favorite wool shirt can turn into a tragedy? You can't, you can't, can, man. It's you got to throw the loofahs out, man, if you got 16 piercings. No, you got to, you got to, you have to exfoliate, take care of the skin. What are you talking about? You got to find another way. Body scrubs and, and but I use scrubs. I just, I just feel like I, use, I, just feel like I couldn't be a uh, I couldn't be a Pearson person. I'd have to start investing in certain oils and like gels and like hey. get certain kind of like velvet kind of clothes. I got to do some different kind of lifestyle. You get silk. So I, I just got to start rocking velvet. silk. Yeah, like, but, yeah I, just, I just feel like that if, if I get if I get Pearsons, <laughs> that's the kind of life I'm gonna wind up living. I have a question that automatically comes to mind when I see a tongue ring. Okay, and now that I see multiple tongue rings. Yes. Um, how many? Okay, hold on. Oh, um, I, have, how many? I, I know, I like that. I know exactly what I'm you're asking. Like how on. many licks does it take to get to the center of a tissue? That's not the question. That's I was not gonna ask. Oh, that wasn't All right. it. Oh, All right. Uh, the I question wondering. I was going to ask is: Scratch um, that off. Like, why so many? Do you do it for pleasure? Is there another? Like, what is? Why do you get so many piercings? So it's not just piercings; it's tattoos as well. Or is it like a pain thing? No. See, tattoos, it's the it's the art. It's the art of it all. Mm-hmm. And like I said, when your artist doesn't tell you no, when you have a crazy idea, he will there you go. Him. And he will he will help. He will do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My guy, he's the best. Right. Anybody looking for some ink, look yeah. up. Get him. He don't give a fuck, obviously. He just <laughs> keeps on all right, pause it real pinching. Quick. Yeah, yeah. So another question I always have, too, when I think about tongue rings is... Um, do you get a lot of uh, people approaching you 
thinking that you are um, skilled with your tongues? Oh, definitely. Tongue rings? Tongue skills. But I also get a lot of questions of, how do you eat? Is it hard to eat? No, but a lot of people think it is. Okay. Maybe like spaghetti, but do you ever like eating ice cream, so I'll serve ice cream on a cone. I can't eat. Do you ever fuck okay. up and like and like bite the yes. shits or some shit? I've cracked the tooth. I've oh. cracked the tooth before. Oh no, dentist. Oh no. Oh, no. That's crazy. Oh really? So see, it's in the back, so you can't see it. So okay. we got. But do you do you or do you use no them in your sex life? Of course. Do, are they pleasurable? There we go. If that's why they're 16, there might be more coming soon. <laughs> well, I've never had any complaints, so... There we okay. go. No complaints. Okay. No complaints. Ain't no complaints. Um, I know for sure um, your birthday's coming up. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. birthday. Thank you. Thank you. It's, Woo! Like almost like, it's, it's almost luck like you're yeah. here. You stumbled upon us. Like we're Big Sag. Big Sag energy. Things are supposed um, to come together the this way is, they're it's, supposed it's fire. to. You have to get to do your own birthday shout out on your show. Looking nice on the show. Thank you. Nice. It's true. Um, tongue rings. We're talking about them. Birthdays. Oh, you know what you should do? It's a, it's a tradition on the show. It's your birthday. Mm-hmm. You should have... A birthday threesome. Birthday threesome, birthday threesome, birthday threesome. You need to have a birthday threesome for your birthday. Have you ever had a threesome? Yes, I have. So, yes! So then you should have a birthday threesome. This is no. It's a lot more complicated kind of, than people how, think. I, what do you I know. Uh, two guys. I know girl, it's complicated. Guy, two girls. We never get past that, that. It's very complicated. You do it, I do it stuff. No, which it's one? very complicated. Well, what is I've your, had all the combinations. Oh, what's your fa- oh, oh, oh. Yeah, what's your favorite? I've been adventurous in my life. What's your favorite type of threesome? Is it the two shorties, the two dudes? I don't, think I, have, I don't think I've had a favorite because not everyone's energy is at the same we level. We still got life to live. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So it's just like with two girls, like the two girls I was with, they were together. They oh, were in a whole wow. relationship. Now we talking. So oh, that's a different dynamic. Right. Like you can't even kiss her type shit. I didn't want to kiss her. I don't believe in kissing nobody. I'm sorry. There you nope. go. Threesomes. What, what, there do you mean, you go. No, what do you mean nobody? Limits. Like you don't believe in kissing anybody at threesomes? all? Threesomes. Threesomes. Oh, not, not in a threesome. threesome. Threesomes, you don't kiss. Fuck out that's of here. That's a big no-no. Damn, what kind of whack-ass threesome? Nah, bro. No, 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 no. Because think about it. For some people... Sex gets more than just sex. A lot of people get sex in their relation, like their actual emotions yeah. wrapped up into each other. Of course. Some it's people so just easy. can't keep it as like, yo, so we just gonna fuck easy. and that's so you it. Don't, so you don't yeah. have emotions when you have sex? I'm trying to bust a nut. That's what I'm trying to do. Cap. Hold that. Cap. Crack that. I'm calling Cap. Shenanigans. <laughs> Grab a ticket. Go on, yo. I feel like if, you get, if you get sex down right. <laughs> I've yet to get have that happen to down me. down right. I have yet like to have that happen. Like just really dicking what you. What do you mean he's yet to have it? Right? You know what I'm talking about? Like dicking you right? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting You're for gonna it. You're going to have emotions. You know what I mean? Damn. It's, it's not an emotion works. towards you. It's called science. No, it's not an emotion towards it's you. It's called math. Like, have you ever, have you ever had a fuck buddy no. situation? Uh-huh. And Go ahead. You no, nothing to say. No, no, I agree. It's just I agree. you. I agree. Them. But one person sure. catches feelings. It, that happens. That happens quite often. But yes. have you ever been on the receiving end where the girl only hits you up when she wants a dick? Yes. Yes. That hurts only my feelings. Times. Yes. And the I don't like it when time. they do that. Those and it hurts my feelings. That's fine. Some dudes can't handle that. Some dudes can't, but some dudes can. But Just like the, some women can't. Some women can't. This is very true. But in, in this day of 2020, most men can't. Uh, you're the woman. Uh, yeah. Just getting hit up. Dudes can't, right? We're getting, we're getting, yeah. Yeah. You know what it is? It's the Drake music. No dates. See, that's it. Y'all that need Drake to stop. Music. Y'all need to stop listening to Drake. Drake I'm sorry. Yeah, that Drake music. That, that Marvin's room has been hunting niggas since. Shit is crazy. Y'all need to tune into something different. You sorry. You so, Bleak, now. so, Bleak, you're basically full saying... circle. Bleak, you're basically <laughs> saying that you could just be hit up just for dick. You could be just a dick, yes. dick in a glass. Yeah, man. Dick that's a, a hell of a role. That's, that's one of the best roles you could ever play. Until, until, until. Until, until see? you find the one, right? No, 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 no. Until she starts posting. No. Until she starts posting mad pictures of her nigga. No, not even. Not even. Not even. Like it ain't you just dicked her the fuck down, yeah. and then she's like snuggled up with him. And I'm in the, the crib like, chilling with my And I'm in the crib chilling with my niggas. do me better than my mans. Mm-mm. You go feel some kind of way. Like, I just, yo. Yo, for real? What? You just left my crib. Exactly. I'm good. All right, some niggas can't take She's that. talking about me. She's just showing his picture, but she's talking about me. <laughs> that, that's, that's what it is. That's, that's what, what it is. is. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's, all right. It's very easy. All right. I know those games. I mean, I don't know how. Have you ever threatened a girl? With what? With D? 
No. <laughs> no, because of course, I mean, that's how you do I mean, it. I wish I was how you do it. You lay it on the you, That's would. the first thing you do. You lay it on the table. You're like, oops, hey, you gotta be I quicker really than that. Somebody would do that to me because I'll sit and laugh at you. <laughs> gotta be quicker. Be like, there's that. a bitch or a nigga to take your place. So, yeah. what's up? Oh, nah, nah, it's true. That's happened. I've walked that walk. It's all right. You learn and you keep going. That's a fact. So threesomes, birthday threesomes, you should get at it. So, um, so you're, um, so Christina, are you, are you single? Yes, I'm single. Oh, single, okay. fellas. Single. You gotta be single. over six foot, no, no taller than six foot ten. Any other you good job? And you have good Insta- job, okay. And you have her Instagram. You need to have that subway. Okay, so six oh, oh, feet so, only. Since we're, ta- since, since we're talking, since we're talking about that on it, before I get into what I get into, is there anything else? Does he have to have like? Does he have to still have like? Can he? Does he have to have a beard? I mean, as long as you're well groomed. Okay. So oh, you know, no. beard isn't a requirement. Not a requirement. What about hair on the top of his head? See, that's the thing. I would say yes, but like some men look good bald. What? Okay. What if he's not at the place where he's ready to go bald? So he's George Jefferson it out here. I mean, a little cold oh, sack. A little cold sack. I can't Isn't give up. Like, a little wheezy. I'm not giving up. I'm does, still does waiting it, for the cure. Does it matter wheezy. if he's taller? Shout out to my man Brian. I, I say it's balding, but he's tall, so people can't really. Know what I mean, my man. Like people can't really see my it because mm-hmm. I mean, like. Well, in that or case, the Netflix no, I'm just saying, suggest- I'm just saying, it, like. Like, I would just suggest if he's it's short. Does it, is it like? All right, oh you yeah, gotta no, that's go a big. That's yeah. Just, like you, just you cut gotta it off. go bald because people yeah, don't just, be able to see it like right. more often. Yeah, like nah. Uh-huh. If you tall, you can get away with certain things. But if you're short, okay. like nah, just go clean, bro. That's it. Okay. All right. So um, so you ever see on social media like when you're scrolling through and they'll have like those posts where they'll have like those like seven bachelors and they'll have like their quote unquote stats like oh this person's a personal trainer we're yes. like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and they wow. have like the, they're super like. Now I mean like super baby like oiled up, baby trying to look all godly. Like, it looks, uh-huh. looks like a pirate's like party city pirate beard on him, like the yeah. perfect beard. Is I mean, party city with the with what? the shirling jacket that's yeah. like yeah. naval length, like it's yeah. <laughs> And a, and a, mock, and neck. A mock neck, mock neck, turtle neck. I mean, they got the they got, like, the, got the like slacks, they got the slacks, and, and they got the like the, the ankles thing. out, and they gotta have Yikes. the dangle the dangle earring. Yeah, like You're the the Dion, the Dion yeah. Sanders joint. What, what like is that ever appealing yeah. for like no. like, like, like the that super the, the super 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 metro? I mean the super. Oh. No, see. but don't you like men well groomed? They're overly well groomed. Are they see, overly well groomed? Yes, yes, you can. You can thing? over. Yes, you Is can overly, overly groom well. as a man. Put it like this: if it takes longer for you mm-hmm. to get ready than it does for me, we have a serious problem. Why? What if the What if the man like is so well groomed that he gets waxed? Manscaping? There's nothing wrong with manscaping. Like waxed everywhere. Nothing wrong like with manscaping. The okay, like the baby so boy. my thing is, he if you're not Michael Phelps and you're not a Brazilian. swimmer, you should not be doing that. I'm getting the Brazilian. I'm not waxing nothing, nah, but I am manscaping. That's a bit much. And then, like you much. can you can trim then, it down. And then he judge you hard, cra- like all crazy, like damn, damn, your shit is a little stubbly. Yeah, like he's he's so I man. Wish, oh shit! I'll be damned when so, the man judges like, so, like that. He's so on it that it's like, damn, shorty, you're not gonna match me. Like, like I'm on it. Like I'm on. Like you see me? I'm I'm cocoa buttered down. You see me? <laughs> yeah, but that's a like, problem I mean, for me. Like, like you can't be glistening. You can't be and pretty doing all that. No, he can't be like I need my man to still be a man. Like I need to be able. A man can't be glistening. He can't be prettier than you. A man can't be. I should never refer to a man as pretty. Okay, if I can say you're pretty. I look at you as a bitch oh, and I will never oh, be with you. Wow. Wow. Gosh. <laughs> wow. Lord, oh, God. A man wow. has to look like a man. What? A man wow. can't be a pretty man? <laughs> Pretty. My bad. What does pretty imply? <laughs> my, my bad, Floyd Mayweather. Feminine. No, no, that, that's what that's what I hear women say about uh, about the attractive men in like the how that like Again, the attractive. Again, if, if you're the, a real the, woman, the, you should never call, refer to them as pretty. I feel like I hear them saying like, pretty. oh, yo, a Next. pretty boy. Like, not me. They're pretty boy. Yeah, you know what that means. Like, Either I mean? you like, take you take like the, way like, too much time in the mirror because yeah. you're doing one of these. <laughs> the blood exchange. <laughs> Trying to look so, good. Keep so you're blood. saying that we shouldn't buy that uh that Pharrell. Facial cream that First he put all, out. Here, Pharrell, he's a whole vampire. We're not gonna talk about no, that. No. <laughs> so I'm not that man has not my aged. Skin? Okay, he has so not maybe, aged. Maybe so we I can't need take care of my skin. Do you agree Pharrell. that the Kardashians are vampires? Yeah, I have a theory about that. They suck all the talent out of any black man they've ever been with. Except Kanye, he got out. He lives in no, Wyoming. No, first of all, no, he, nah, yeah, <laughs> hold on, hold he has. He got out. I don't count him as black anymore. Don't hold do that. Hold on, hold on. They're something different because my home. He's in Wyoming. My home girl Tanya sucks all the talent out of black guys too, and she still lives down the street. So there's something else that they're doing. They're obviously vampires. Um, vampire alert! <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> they're vampires. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so with relationships, you said being a physical trainer. Mm-hmm. When you're a physical trainer, do you find that a lot of your clients hit on you just being so close physically? Like you might be working on their body, touching their abs, trying to get them right, and they might be like, yo, touch my dick. <laughs> That has actually never happened to me. Okay. How does That's it work? How do they tell how do they ask you to touch their dick? <laughs> Nobody has ever asked me to. No. That's the thing. Oh, everyone so has been everyone then? has been very they've understood that boundary. Oh, okay, okay. okay. They've okay. understood how the boundary. This is a finesse, professional relationship. That? They finesse it. They, they just whip it out. <laughs> they, yeah. I mean, you can, like, but it's like uh, if you're not a certain size, I'm gonna sit how, and laugh at you. No. How upset are, are you that they are so mean. respectful of you? Yeah. I'm not upset at all. I appreciate that. Wouldn't because you... you see me as a professional, not as a piece of meat. Okay. There we go. Okay. I like that. Do sometimes would sometimes <laughs> would you rather be seen as a piece of meat? <laughs> Hold on. Let me get that. I can get that. Hold on. Get that out. No more. I can get it. Hold on. Would you prefer oh, to on. be considered a piece of meat? Hold on. <laughs> I don't hold even on, know I what he prefers at this point. What? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, like, hold on, hold on. What are you even? Shh, shh. Everyone. I'm on the highest one. Oh, everyone. Be... Hold on, hold on. Man, listen. <laughs> right? I'm going to play me. Everybody. Me, everybody, like, everybody, let's huh? do this. Right. Honestly, um, I just always want to ask this question. Honestly, as a woman, sometimes, do you prefer to be looked at as a piece of meat? Why would I? <laughs> Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong, that carnal... That carnal, visceral, mm. like, yeah, innate... I'm good with that, mignon. but you need to knock my screws loose as soon as you start acting like that. So, you better have so, the hammer. That's through the all these conversations we've, the had, hammer. we've had, a roundabout whirlwind conversation, that I, sure find that, I find that the bottom line and the main thing is you need a stiff dicking. You have not had the correct cocking. Oh, that's not true. I think that's the issue. You think so? Because you, you hmm. you're not acting like you have respect the dick the way you're supposed to. I the way I'm respect. supposed to, you hear that? The yeah, way I'm supposed I feel like you to. Got, you know, That's I'm very wrong, interesting, especially when I can make like somebody's res- eyes roll in the back yeah, of their head yeah, or they. I, they I, but you're not respecting the dick, like or, or or them trying to threaten my life as if I start right. fucking no, with somebody that means, else. That means you're confident in your skill. Episode 23, the the GOAT episode. 23, of course, for the GOAT, LeBron Facts. James. And oh, also... Wow. 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 And also whoa, for some whoa, other people who think Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Whoa. I was about to also say, you better get Michael Michael. It's not even good yeah. to how yeah. stupid you sound. Yeah. Thank you. Saying Thank LeBron you. James is the GOAT. Some people think LeBron James is the GOAT. But he's Dumb not. people think LeBron but James is the GOAT. But he's not. Thank you. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I also gave love to Mike. Yeah, you did. I mean, because you have Mike should have been first. I didn't have to. That's the only GOAT you be talking about. That would be your to. opinion, and it's my show. So LeBron man, James, the man, goat, <laughs> and also your man LeBron, Michael took, Jordan, your man LeBron the other wanted Jordan's number. He grew up. He was that was the old school ways. We watched the old school ways, and then we perfected it and took it to another level. Okay. Uh, I well, so Michael uh, Jordan was a crybaby. Perfecting it. I know LeBron James Michael is a crybaby. Oh. I, I have the highlights if you want. Them. I would Just love to know. see that. It's it's not nobody, because what his Hall of Fame speech. What a what a dick. Mm. That that That's whole not a thing dick. speech confirmed Michael Jordan. No, it's dick. not. That well, means we all so, knew he was. All a you dick. motherfuckers that so doubted me. But LeBron now is look not at me. me. Right. LeBron right. is not. That's why I invited that you to come see me. Okay. That has right. everything to do with legacy. LeBron no, doesn't. LeBron and says it all the time. To show me love, right? What's your handle? Underscore I am the legacy. I am the legacy. What a I am great the legacy. Thank you. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you for coming up to the Burning Tree. Thank you for having me, guys. This was a rousing conversation about nothing and everything. Right. It's the Blood Exchange. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. Come thank back you again. Did you have a good time? Enjoyed it. Loved it. You guys are awesome. All right. Thank, thank you, you. Thank for you for coming. Through. Underscore I am the legacy on Instagram and legacy boogie on Snapchat. All right. Guys, right. anything Got you want to say before we get the fuck up out of here? Um. Wow. Uh, shout out to another good episode. Man. Facts, man. Anything? Anything? Oh, anything yeah. Episode? J-Lo's the greatest performer of all time. Who? Uh, what? What? Right. What? Right. What? Right. what? Right. Okay. What? See? You see? just had to get that I, in there real quick. See what I'm talking we about? all know real that's quick. not true. I told this time, <laughs> one more time, shout out to Brian. Get get his book, No Justice. Oh, yeah, yeah. No Once again. Justice. Shout out, Brian. No, no, go man. publish that. author. We'll, that. we'll, that. we'll go put that up that. on the screen. Or something. Yes. I mean, but uh, other than that, I mean, we'll be back next week. Let's first go. Week of Try December. to do better next week. We like always do. You already know. Um, Thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping it blunt with us. Episode 23. The gold Jordan. episode. The gold episode. episode. The gold episode. Jordan. Some people call it the LeBron episode. Some people <laughs> call it the Jordan episode. It's the episode. gold episode. No what, it's the gold episode. We're calling it the oh. Jordan episode. The Jordan no, no, episode. No, no. It's not the... It's it, the Jordan it, episode. We said the goat. That's so a the LeBron episode. It's the Jordan episode. Hold oh, that. you see them Jordans? Right. Hold that. Okay. 
Hold that. See you guys next week. Pull up. Holla. Cheers. Hey, it's your girl, Legacy. You just finished watching The Bond Exchange. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hello. 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 Like that.